Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at um, bearings. Okay. All right, guys. So in this question, we have pretty much similar to what we did in the previous question, but we're just adding on an extra bit here. So from A, he's, his tourist is traveling to B. So the bearing is 45 degrees, and it's about 25 kilometers. And then from B, they're traveling to C, which is 16 kilometers. And this is at a bearing of 125 degrees. So at the moment, we are trying to figure out what AC is. And we're also trying to figure out what's the bearing of A from C. So we're also looking at this bearing here. So really, what we're, trying to, what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a little right angle triangle that looks like this. All right. So we're going to know, need to know what the base length is, and we're going to need to know what the height of that little triangle is. Okay, so for this question, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to split these two um, into two triangles. All right, so from A to B, we're going to split it up into a triangle that looks like this. So this is A, B, and purple. So it's going to have that purple triangle. And then we're going to get a second triangle, which is going to be an orange. That's for basically that's going to look like this, which has BC in it. OK. Now, one thing to understand is that because we have a bearing of 125, we can go 125 minus 90 equals 35. So this little angle here is going to be 35 degrees. So. What we then have is we have two triangles, all right? First, we have the purple triangle here, and I need to figure out what the opposite side is and the adjacent side, what the distances for those are. And for the orange triangle, I have to work out the opposite and the adjacent, where hypotenuse is going to be 16. And for the purple triangle, the hypotenuse is going to be 25. Okay, so using Sokotoa, I am able to actually work out all those four um, values there. All right, so I'm going to do the purple one first. So with the purple one, uh, what do we have? I'm going to work out the opposite first. All right, so I'm working out the opposite, which means I'm going to be using sine, sine rule. So sine 45 equals opposite over hypotenuse. Sine 45 equals opposite over 25 therefore opposite is equal to 25 times sine 45 which equals to hold on hmm, i just realized i actually worked this out in the last slide so that's 17.67 okay so this here is 17.67 now because it's a 45 degree angle um, it's an isosceles triangle, and I think I already proved this in my last uh, previous example that the adjacent is also going to be 17.67. Okay, so that's the purple purple triangle. Now I need to work out with the orange triangle. With the orange triangle, I have sine 35 equals opposite over hypotenuse. So sine 35 equals opposite over hypotenuse is 16. Therefore, opposite is equal to 16 times sine 35, which equals 9.18. So this distance here is 9.18. So because from the orange for the orange triangle, the opposite side is 9.18, and the purple one is 17.67, I could now work out what this little blue line here is because that's just uh 17.67 minus 9.18 which equals which equals 8.49 so for this little light blue triangle the height is going to be 8.49 okay now i need to work out what the adjacent side is for the orange triangle so i'm going to be using cos so i've got cos 35 equals adjacent over hypotenuse 
cos 35 equals adjacent over 16. So adjacent is 16 times cos 35, which equals 13.10. Okay, so this one here happens to be 13.10, which means the bottom light blue line is going to be 17.67 plus 13.10 which happens to be 30.77. So the distance from AC is going to be 30.77. So now, folks, I have the little triangle that I need to be working with because I have a right angle triangle where this is 30.77 and this is 8.49. So using Pythagoras, I work out 30.77 squared. So this is let me just write it up. So hypotenuse squared equals a squared plus b squared, which means I have 30.77 squared plus 8.49 squared, and I'm going to get h equals to 0.49 squared. Sorry, h squared equals to 1018.87. So the h is equal to square root of that which happens to be 31.91. So the distance between CA, CA's distance, is 31.91 kilometers. As for the bearing, I need to work out what this angle is and add 180 to it because remember, north is going to be here and I've got 180 degrees that's coming from north to south. So to work out the angle, I'm going to use tan because I have opposite and adjacent. So where opposite, this is going to be my opposite and this is going to be my adjacent. So I have tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Tan theta equals 30.77 divided by 8.49. So theta equals inverse tan of 30.77 over 8.49. 30.77 divided by 8.49 and that gives me an angle of 74.57 degrees. But remember, to get a bearing I need to add 180. So in this case bearing is 74.57 plus 180 and that's going to give me 254.57 degrees. Cool. So that's basically it, guys, for this particular problem. I know it was a huge problem, but I think if you watch by the end of this video, you should really have all the bearings sussed out. If you have any questions, pop it in the comments below, and I'll try my best to get back to you. But apart from that, that's it for this extremely, extremely long session. Uh, thank you for watching.